Hello Cancers, welcome back to my channel. This is a message for the 15th until the 22nd. We just had the Pisces new moon, so the Pisces, your own fellow water sign, is asking you to really release the old emotional traumas, anything that is still stagnant and within you, to have a new perspective in what it is that you want to take action on when we go into Aries season. As always, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you're not a subscriber, tap the button, hit the bell. Please hit like if you resonate with this or leave me a comment for it does help my channel grow and share if you know that somebody else could benefit from these messages. So we are going to start out with the good tarot and then I will do a light seers clarifier along with my twin flame journey deck and then we will take it from there. So let's start, let's see what is coming on for my Cancers. Okay, Cancer, here we go, let's get started. The first card popping out, Three of Water. This is the card of celebration, of union, of coming in together with like-minded people. This is really recognizing that you are not alone, that there's a lot of people here for you. It's time for you to really recognize that and for you to celebrate that to celebrate what is here for you. The three of water is that celebration. Let's see what is coming on. So this really is in celebrating the you. We have the 10 of earth in the present. Great stability, this is coming into that. Wow, we have the Empress card. So we have, there's a lot of stability here for you, for you to really recognize your own value, your own worth. Some of you right now are coming into with others, with could be with other women, with other people, with that are really showing you your own value, your own worth. And the 10 of earth is asking you to see that, to see this greatness within you. At the bottom of the deck, we have the star card. This is in regards to wishes, your dreams. This is the card of healing, the card of timing, divine timing is at work here for you. And it's asking you to recognize that. What do you wish? What do you want to bring in? Like I was saying, what is it you're releasing in order to bring something in here for you? Because the 17 card, the Aquarius card is a future card. So it asks you to celebrate the things that you want now. This is when we're celebrating and when we're really collaborating with other people. So act as if and really look at the other people around you because the universe is showing you through your friendship the wishes and desires that are possible. Look at this beautiful, we have the Ace of Water behind the star card. The Ace of Water is about new love. It's about healing. It's in regards to having that love that is already within you. This is holding that love within and really hanging on. Who is it? So some of you could be wishing for a new love, wishing for a partnership, somebody that you want to give that pearl to and receive from. Here with the th three of water, some of you can be meeting that somebody through your friends. So let's see here with the 10 of earth, the 10 of earth comes in and says, yeah, it's all about really recognizing your own abundance, your own worth, your own value. You are sitting here very beautiful and grounded. This is all about the material abundance, the mastery of your finances. You, uh, a lot of cancers right now could be feeling very secure, very grounded, feeling very abundant and wealthy. So this is the card that gives continuous gratitude to that, to that safety and to that security that is within you. Then we have the card of the Empress, the card of she is Gaia, she is Earth, the mother of the Earth. And this card comes and says that as you're sitting in your own power, holding this harvest here, there's harvest, there's growth. This is in regards to your own timeline, really nurturing that female um, creative part of you. It's the Empress, the Empress, she's a co-creator. She's all four queens and really recognizing in regards to your emotions, your mental, your stability, and that fire that's within. Which part of you are you bringing out when the Empress card shows up? Because she's all four, so really mastering the self, mastering all aspects of the divine feminine, and really recognizing that within yourself because this is a time the future card here is in that you are giving birth to new ideas, to new experiences, to new opportunities. You really start to see your life as incredibly rich and abundant. You see yourself as a powerful co-creator and that life loves you and is living life through you. 
And as you do, this is when things come into alignment, that acting as if you have everything that you desire, that love that you're seeking, the things that are divine, that are fated, that are destined for you to come in. And let's start pulling and we can do clarifiers. High Priestess. Yes, the first card comes out with the High Priestess card. And this card comes out and says, it's time for you to really listen to that intuitive nudge. This is the Pisces. So, you know, the universe is really sending you help, is sending you, whether it's from the divine or from your earth family, wherever it is, listen and see. Look at the people that are being sent to you. She's the high priestess. The high priestess is the light and the dark, the secret keeper of all that you hold, the Akashic records. Everything that you need is within you. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust the divine at this time and really go within and tap into that knowledge that you hold within yourself. You are not alone. You have help here, Cancers. And this is what the card is showing to me right now. So... The next card out, we have the card of, we have the moon. Wow, look at these cards. This is absolutely beautiful. So we have the moon. Again, Pisces, some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon I like to call um, the Cancer card because I'm also a Cancer ruled by the moon. So listen to your fears. Listen, some of you could be, you know, in fear of your own, you know, abundance of your own greatness of your own um, wealth. So this is really saying, you know, look at the dark shadows of how you can hold yourself back from living a very abundant life. You know, are there still fears? Are there still things that are, have not shown themselves to you? And really look at that. Look at um, the things that are in the shadow when it comes to safety and security and the things that you need to leave behind what you leave behind cancers here with the luggage is the old fears, is really listening to your intuition and really recognizing you don't need to carry these old pains and these old emotions anymore and to really begin to trust the universe, trust the cycles of the moon and trust your higher self is what it's seeing. So really 10 and 10 here, we're coming down to the place of ending, ending these old things into what coming into brand new love again new beginnings new love the kind of love that is emotionally fulfilling a kind of love that is emotionally here coming from the heart you're giving birth from the heart empress on empress twice the empress card shows up two times telling you of your greatness telling you of your value of your worth and really is here to let you know to really ground yourself to give birth with the school of fish here again pisces and we have the Pisces and then we've got, because that's a school of fish, a shawl with her. We have the moon, we have the earth. This is really coming into a new way of love, a new way of loving life. There's a new life for you, Cancer, that is birthing for you, that is so beautiful. And for you to really recognize it, to recognize some of you have been doing a lot of self-healing, self-love in order to come into this. But you have a double hit of the empress and the double hit of the empress is such a beautiful card of growth it's a card also of summertime if some of you want to know what this is so during summertime there can be some things that are coming for you that are very nurturing it is you're pregnant with ideas something that is emotionally fulfilling and if this is in regards to a relationship yes there is new love that is coming in someone who sees your value your worth your beauty your essence and this is something that is very wish fulfilling again yeah we have the ace of wands Water twice so there is an energy that is coming it is divine it is faded so let's see what energies you are coming out of here we have messages astral telepathic communication so as we're seeing with the high priestess yeah you guys are receiving messages of this union of what is coming really trust it trust what has been hidden from you the next card out we have karmic relationship had to end that first and we're clearly seeing this here so something that threatens your own fear your own safety security so this is whether you had to leave a relationship that was karmic or somebody else that had to leave a relationship first to come into union to come into this greatness to come into something that is beautiful for you and let's take okay this card wants to come out Somebody wants amends. Something is coming and saying that my love for you is eternal. 
amends, I forgive you, please forgive me. Now, Cancer, whether this is you to somebody or somebody to you, somebody wants to come in and give you that place of, you know what, like I screwed up or, or you know, I did this and that, you know, I truly love you. My love for you is unconditional. And the Empress is about that. It is about being unconditional. Unconditional love here is showing at the bottom of the deck. We have union, destined love, faded like I said, there is a love for you, Cancer, that is so destined that what you're to release is the karma of the past. What you're to release are the fears of the past, or the things that deceptions of the past, the things that made you carry a lot of the load. Here, as we're seeing, there was a relationship that was deceptive, that was not based on a lot of clarity and truth for you, and you carried a lot of that load, which hence could have helped hurt your own safety, your own security, and that you had to go focus on that as you left this behind so you can come into union. And I'm really seeing that for my cancers right now because the union card is showing up and it's saying, yeah, but first you make peace. You make peace with the past. Make peace and realize your value, your worth, your essence, empress twice. I mean, wow, that's like a wow card. And here, let's bring you into one of these cards and I'm going to take that card out. And it's so funny. We have two cards that are talking about time. Tick tock, tick tock. And then we have time for a nap. Yeah, this is exhausting. <laughs> so it is time for you to rest. Trust in divine timing. You know what? When we come into a place of stillness, when we really understand that the universe is always working and that when we're, you know, when we go through things of needing to release, once you have released, then there's like, just trust. Trust that divine timing is working for you. Trust that everything happens in divine timing. You don't, you're not running out of time, Cancer. I'm also getting that message too. Some of you may think that you're running out of time when it comes to the matters of the heart, but you are not. Everything is in divine timing and you're really to trust the divine timing. I'm gonna go to number 30 with this card and let's see first it came to 24 and it just says receiving help delegating authority interdependence with this card relationships that are healthy thrive on interdependence it's important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you you must allow people to support you just as you are there for them this is a time to be vulnerable to speak up about your needs and to ask for them to be fulfilled trust you will be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind though. Ask and it is given. That is beautiful. And then with the TikTok, it is coming up. Wow, you know, I completely just read you. Um, I guess I was meant to read that card, but that was not the card. So the time for a nap is taking rest. Really, that is what that card is talking about. And I read you a different one so i guess you were meant anyways this card is about rest rejuvenation and renewal temporary non-action allowing your dreams to arise absolutely cancers and you're not running out of time everything is happening in divine timing just know that release the notion time is an illusion everything is happening right now there is no time the time is now for you to rest and allow these energies to come in and really to trust it. And I'm going to take too many cards. So I'm just gonna cut the deck and let me just go here. And we have the marriage. You're attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Again, unconditional love, unconditional love, unconditional love, unconditional love. I think you get the message, Cancer. Love yourself unconditionally and the universe will match that and time is not running out. I'm sending you so much love, so much light. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button, hit the bell. Until next time, namaste.